ton we're going in? Uh, uh, it should 55? be 40, uh, 50, 45? Oh, no. 50. 50, five, 55, right? maybe. Okay. Usually five minutes. Yes. Rain is annoying. Mm, yeah, rain really annoying. Yes, you're right. One one. Yeah. One one. Hello, hello. in the row.
Hello and welcome to the 2020 Huanan Bank Taiwan Premier League. We're here to, at the National University of Sports in Guishan for this match between Taiwan Steel and Futuro. Taking you through to the final whistle will be myself, Jake Fletcher, and beside me, Roy Hung. Welcome, Roy. Hi, everybody. Uh, so here we are. Uh, Futuro won the first meeting between these two teams uh, earlier this season, 1-0. Uh, it was the first victory for Futuro over Taiwan Steel, uh, and Taiwan Steel uh, as Taiwan Steel had won all three meetings uh, in the previous season. All games, though, have ended uh, with just a single goal between the two teams, so it should be a close one, Roy. Yeah, I think so. So we can see here the teams are just about ready. Uh, I've got Taiwan Steel in their fluorescent yellow. Um, they've been uh, rather inconsistent, Roy, I think, uh, over the season. Um, but we'll have a look at the table first. Um, so Futuro, uh, last time out, they had their first loss to Datong, uh, ending their unbeaten record this season. Uh, they currently sit uh, second with 21 points after 10 games, uh, two points behind uh, Thai Power, so will be keen to get back on track. Uh, Taiwan Steel, however, who had been touted as potential title challengers after acquiring uh, two of the uh, best-known strikers in the league, uh, Benchy and Fenelis, uh, they are currently struggling and sitting in fifth uh, with 15 points after nine games. So we can see here the weather, uh, different from uh, the last game out, uh, very wet. Um, got the Taiwan Steel team up in front of us. Uh, they're playing a 4-1-4-1 formation. Uh, in goal, 23 Jang, a back four of number 14 Liu, number 2 Chen Wei Chen, 6 Su and 5 Cheng Hao. Uh, defensive mid, uh, number 3 Zumakulov. Uh, just in front of him, we've got number 9 Benchi, number 7 Yao Kechi, number 11 the captain Wu. Uh, and number 19, Yo Jia Huang. Uh, and up front, uh, number 10, Mark Fenelis. Uh, Futuro, also playing a 4 1 4 1. Uh, in goal, number 21, Duan Yu. Uh, back four of number four, Hong. Number three, the captain, Chen Ting Yang. Number five, Ichi Anagi. And number eight, Komori. Uh, also, defensive midfielder, number 24, Kari Yuda. In front of him, you've got uh, a four of 11, Ju. 88, Lin Jian Yel. Lin Jian Liang, number seven, Ogawa, uh, and on the right, 27, Zhang. Uh, and up front, uh, number nine, Li Mao. Uh, so the game's already kicked off. As we said, uh, Taiwan Steel, left to right, uh, playing in fluorescent yellow, as we have a strike here, early on, uh, but wide and high. And Futuro, playing from right to left, uh, in the blue and white stripes. So Roy, uh, after last week's loss, uh, Futuro's loss last week, they'll be keen to uh, get back on track. They're still uh, trailing Thai Power, but just by uh, two points now. Yeah, if they won this game, then they would be top again, probably. Yeah, it's, uh, it's worth noting, uh, Taiwan Steel, um, they've only played nine games. They're, uh, they're due a second half replay with uh, Ming Chen after that game finished one all uh, after about 17 minutes due to heavy rain. So. That's the reason why they're, uh, they've still got a game in hand at yeah. the moment. Um, so with that game in hand, they could potentially uh, move up the table to, I believe, fourth. So it seems the heavy ring stops right now. So hope it won't have affect our match today. <laughs> yes, uh, just about an hour ago, we had thunderstorms, yeah. uh, a bit of lightning, but it seems to have eased off. Um, the play's underway. Uh, Rain looks to have stopped completely, actually. So we've got Futuro working it down the right. Should have a chance here. Good strike by Ju. First time hit, but uh, wide of the right post. But uh, early opening. Yeah. So both teams right now got their striker to have their first shot. Just uh, Mark Fernandez just blew the ball. So Mark is, I mean, is a bit struggling this season. He got a three right now, so uh, I remember got a record of 38 for a season. <laughs> yeah, just a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, but uh, just uh, struggling to gel together this Taiwan Steel team. Uh, I mean, with Fenelis and uh, Benchi, who had previously been top scorers yeah. in the league, um, neither of them have really been firing. Yeah, I think so. So I've got, uh, looks like an early injury here. Uh, number 14, is that? Liu uh, Hurhan, yeah. Defender. 
So, uh, so they've got a crush with uh, yeah. Lee Mao. Nothing intentional there, both going up for the ball. Uh, but he's just taken a knock, it's perhaps uh, winded him. So we've got a small change on the squad today, I mean for Taiwan Steel. Uh, usually they put uh, Alim Sumakulov to play at the centre back. Today uh, they push him a bit forward to play defensive midfield and uh, let the place to Su De Tai to play with uh, Chen Wei Chen. So it's a new combination today. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think uh, they might be looking to cover off uh, Futuro's number 11, Ju, who likes to find himself in pockets of space yes, I think so. uh, behind, the front, behind the front line. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that battle works out. As the ball's uh, put back in uh, and returned to the Taiwan Steel goalkeeper, Jiang. And, you know, so that it's, uh, not, it's seldom to put Mark Fernandes and also Ben Chi together, I mean, on the starting lineup. So today, I mean, uh, Taiwan still, they're really looking forward to winning this game. So they got all the best strikers to put on the field. They got Mark Fernandes uh, up front, they got Ben Chi and also Yao Jia Huang on the right side. So these guys uh, should be the top shooters of the, of the team. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether they can gel together today. Yeah. There's a good head there. Strong tackle there. And I don't think the referee was happy with that one. Number, num number 24, Yuda. I think he did win the ball. Uh, but perhaps just uh, slightly out of control. Yeah, say, lunging so. a little bit. Would have been a good tackle maybe about 10 years ago. <laughs> So we know usually Futuro like to have a lot of possession, they like to work the ball around. Yeah. Um, but so far, opening five minutes, uh, Taiwan Steel have uh, been putting, the, putting Futuro under pressure in that middle and uh, they haven't been able to get the ball uh, and uh, sort of control the game as such. Yeah, but uh, I mean the usually playing pattern for Futuro is that uh, they usually use the first five to ten minutes to testify the player, uh, the opponents, to see whether which kind of form, um, tactics they will do, and then when they get used to that tactics, then they will start doing uh, their passing, attacking style. So remember last time they are doing with Datong, they also did the same, but just uh, they can't. I mean, uh, make use of their chances to score. Well in here. I mean, this today seems to be, I mean, uh, home or uh, Komoro, Komori. They got a lot of troubles because uh, Benji or uh, Yao Jia Huang is getting on, the, uh, on both sides. Yeah, it looks like uh, Benji is already, he's down on paper as being the left wing, but uh, yeah. he's up on the, right, on the right side at the moment. So, I mean, they, they would change, I mean, uh, according to their, their taking situations. I mean the main, main I mean the main theme is to support uh, Mark. See whether they can do some uh, su support or assisting to Mark. Let him finish the ball. So for this season, right now they got 17 goals already in nine games. So nearly uh, two goals for a game. Yeah, that's not a bad return. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, for this season, most goal scoring is Da Tong, 22 right now, for uh, 10 games. So over two goals per, per game. But yet, they are not uh, coming in the, in the top right now. Yeah, they're another team. Uh, I mean, previously, they've won, the, as we've said many times, they've won the, th the three previous uh, titles. Yeah. Um, but this time, although they've been when they've been winning, they've been winning emphatically, uh, but uh, they have managed to they have managed to keep the consistency up, and uh, they've lost a, a few games. Yeah. Whereas in previous seasons, they may only lose a, a game a season. Yeah, I, I've um, been talked to a, bit, a few players. I mean, uh, on, from Datong, they just said, I mean, the situation in Taiwan right now, uh, football is changing. They got uh, other teams. They got 
many uh, good players coming from overseas or even uh, local good players they're getting in so uh, just uh, making uh, them more difficult to to, uh, to play with yeah I think it's uh, it is becoming a more competitive yeah league I think so rather than uh, just the top two teams yeah I think it's a good sign I mean uh, not uh, only only a, a two two teams or three teams always uh, winning the top By then we oh, we got the second division right now, right, Jake? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, second division started last week, uh, yesterday, in fact. Sorry, so um, we will now have uh, teams fighting for relegation, yeah, uh, and promotion uh, between the two leagues. Uh, I believe bottom of bottom of ta the division one will, will go down, um, swapping with the top of division two, and seventh place will play a playoff with the second place yeah, I think team so. from division two. Uh, as it stands. Oh, this is a loose pass there. But uh, Talon Steel unable to capitalize as Zumakolov uh, plays a loose through ball. That was half a chance there. Yeah. And Wu is not, I mean, he just not noticed the boys coming easily. So Alim Zumakolov today is doing the assisting position in the midfield. So you can see right now, Futro, they gradually play with their original style of, of doing shot passes. Yeah, right hopefully. Um, so you have hit. But I think today may be a, a bit difficult for them because just uh, they need more defending power to stop Mark and also Benchy. Yeah. Stu gets a uh, cross shot in, but it's uh, gone over the bar. Joe is quite struggling right now. Yeah, he's looking for for goal. Yeah, looks like he was having a goal there. Yeah, um, La last goal was I mean uh, on the ninth round day game against uh, Hang Yuan. They got a penalty kick from Joe. Yeah, he's currently second in the top scorers yeah. in the scoring charts with seven goals uh, behind. So here, uh, finally a chance for Futuro to uh, put some passes together. I think the opening 10 minutes have gone uh, in favour of Taiwan Steel. I think uh, they've had much more of the possession and been able to move the ball about. But uh, like you say, Futuro do always come into the game. Yeah. Okay, Lima getting back to hold the ball. So there Lima is uh, pushed a little bit forward to do the only striker forward. The Taiwan still quite high up the pitch there, and uh, Future are unable to get past the halfway line with the ball. So both teams got the national team uh, centre back defender to stay at the back. Chen Wei Chen and also Chen Ting Yang, they are good teammates and good partners in doing a national team. So right now they are opponents. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they know each other. There's a loose pass there. Is who looking for Mark? So somehow moving out to the right, up on the wing. So unable to keep that ball in play, I believe. Ball is in the back of the net, <laughs> but it won't count. So it's Yao put the ball into the net, but that's not counted. I think quite clearly saw the ball uh, yeah. went past the byline there. I mean, strictly, maybe, I mean, the, the referee would give a yellow card if, in case, I mean, they give a whistle and then he keeps put the ball in the net. Uh, carrying with the play, yeah, I think... Uh, should be okay this time around. Good tackle there by uh, Leo in the number 14 for Taiwan Steel. I 
can see at the moment Thomas still looking to uh, stay high up the pitch. Yeah. And uh, long ball here. Forcing Futuro to play like that, playing a longer ball over the top. I think with the rain, uh, the pitch will be quite skiddy, so the ball, be, uh, if you're playing a ball over the top, it's going to have to be uh, inch perfect. Yeah. And also, Taiwan's still good. They, today, they put a very good defending triangle in the midfield. They got Wu Junqing, Yao Ke Qi, and also Alim Sumakolov. So, uh, these three players are very good at defending. They are fast, and they can always stand in good positions. So, I mean, uh, it's a, good, a great pleasure to Futuro, who are doing a midfield passing. So, we can see it today. And Futuro will have to overcome. Oh! Right tackle there. From Benchy. Senting Yan just getting a talking to here. I think he may have got away with one. I think it was if it was a bit later in the game, that would be in a, a yellow. Let's just have a look at the ball at uh, uh, when the ball's put in the back of the net, but uh, called for a goal kick. So first chance to uh, really test the keeper and get uh, test the defense of Futura. Uh, chance to get the ball into the box. That's uh, Yao Kerchi, puts the ball in. And it's uh, ooh, put into the back of the net there. Benchi with the first goal of the game. So good ball, Benchi. Getting in the right time, right position. And now just skip the defending. It's almost as if uh, Futuro weren't ready for that. It looked like the keeper started to come, but it was a good ball into the box there by Yao Kerchi. Let's have another look again. So, do I need today? I think uh, Benji just reaching around and getting yeah. his toe onto the end of the ball. And the ball creeping into the bottom left corner. So 1 0, Taiwan Steel. So the sixth goal of the season for Benji Estema. So he's getting into the, the goal scoring board right now. Six goals. So the same number as uh, Li Xiangwei of Thai Power. So one more will be getting the same as a Ju from Futuro. So a chance here immediately. Uh, good tackle there uh, by Zumakolev. Oh, there's a late tackle there. I think that will be a card. Yeah, I think so. There's uh, the players down on top of Benchi. Yeah, the referee's got the yellow card out early. I think this one is a deserved. As we have another look at the replay. Oh, I think uh, maybe half tried to pull out of it, yeah. but uh, got his foot caught in the ground. So it's a foul, I think, definitely. Yeah. I think he's saying, uh, Benji's saying there, the momentum just carried him through. Yeah. It's a late tackle here. Just have another look. Yeah, I think uh, just lost his footing there. Yeah. But I think it's a bit dangerous here. Yeah. And just simply will step on the, the defender's, uh, Yuda's feet. So Benji with the first goal and the first yellow card of the game. And Futura now with a chance to put the ball in. Got Lee Mao standing over the ball. So he's going for goal. And uh, not troubling Jang there as the uh, ball sails over the crossbar. I think uh, even if it had been on target, it didn't have the power and the, and the direction really. It was just over the top of the middle of the goal. Yeah, I think it's not easy to play a long range. We do know he can strike them yeah. from long range, but uh, not connecting with that one. Uh, Lima is really f famous for his power on shooting. It's good play again by Town Steel. Yeah. Oh. 
Tom Steele claiming a handball. So nothing given. I think uh, Benji nearly got on the end of that cross as well. It's not the Fenners here. Future player just having his leg tapped there. You you there down again. You can see Taiwan Ta Steele uh, applying uh, a lot of pressure. Yeah. In the future of half. So quite physical tonight. So expecting a lot of fouls tonight. Yeah, with this high press, and uh, Future actually able to move the ball around, usually with ease and com confidence. Uh, Thomas Steele applying a lot of pressure at the moment, and uh, they're coming forward again here. It's Wu. Uh, Wu on the right. There's a cross in. Well looking, cleared. Looking for Benji. So again, Future are looking to go long. Oh, a loose touch there, and Ju nearly. Get that away. Strike by Lee Mao, but uh, again, not quite catching it. It's gone wide of the wide of the uh, goal. But perhaps worth having a couple of attempts. Yeah, uh, I think with so. With this uh, wet surface here, the ball's going to skid on. I mean, uh, a long shot. A long shot is a good try here, especially during the wet weather. So. If the ball hitting like a, a bouncing, bumping, then uh, it's really hard for the goalkeeper to touch it at once or make an easy save. So they create a second chances for their teammates. So Lima's return ball not quite making it. And a good tackle in the end by Ichinagi. Just stopping Benchy down the left. I believe that was. Perhaps Lee Mao taking those strikes because uh, in the opening 20 minutes he's not had much, uh, much chance to get on the ball. Yeah. This cross is played in. And uh, Benchy just unable to uh, get on the end of that one. Yeah. But uh, again, another dangerous ball into the future of box. And don't you this time uh, stay in a very good position? I mean, he's, he knew that uh, Benchy or even uh, Mark will, will came in suddenly. He j it's just, uh, I mean, uh, give them a narrow angle to make, sh to make the shot. So I'm trying to play the ball inside, but uh, well covered off by Zumakolov. Xiao, looking for a teammate. Too well to hold the ball up. And the ball's in. So uh, well taken there by uh, Duan Yu. This time coming out and collecting. The last time I win, they're playing with Da Tong. In the la last moment, Duan Yu came, came out to help the the corner. It just has his head heading into Derek. <laughs> yeah, the clash of the keepers. Yeah. So thankfully both came out okay in the end. There's another foul here in the midfield. And I believe Taiwan still will try and load the box again. So down the right side. Playing the ball across. So Ichi and Nati with the clearance. Lima here. And finally, with a chance to work the ball up the pitch slowly. Oh, but uh, Zhang just turning into trouble there.
So Taiwan Steel, they've been relatively, uh, let's say, inconsistent so far this season. They've yeah. got five wins and uh, four losses. Um, like I say, they had been touted as potential title challengers, especially after acquiring uh, Benchy and Mark Fenelis, who uh, are known in the league for uh, their high goal scoring, the high number of goals they get in. Uh, what they get, so. So, after nine games, they've already lost four. So uh, it's going to be a tough ask. So, I mean, uh, if you... Well, there should be a goal kick. I mean, if you go deep into the result they got uh, this season, you can see that um, right now, uh, Taiwan still, they, can, they got three teams they can't beat. is Thai Power, Futro, and also Hang Yuan. So yeah, the, top the top three, three. teams, they can't beat them. So they can only uh, beat the team, I mean, in the bottom half. That means uh, that deal with your, your saying that uh, they're not consistent. So right now, uh, when they're facing the strong teams, uh, the, in, in fact, they got good players like, like uh, Mark, like uh, uh, Ben Chi, and also uh, Wu Jun Qing, all these are uh, experienced players. But, I mean, right now they got no chemistry for them. Seems that, uh, I mean, a, a few games ago, they uh, won two goals and then they uh, was uh, lose the game finally to three two for them for uh, for Taiwan Steel. So uh, a very great consistent problem for them uh, when they are winning the game or leading the game uh, they can't um, uh, doing good at defending and when they are lo uh, losing the game I mean they don't have the spirit to fight back. So I mean uh, a lot to overcome. But right now, seems that they can gradually get back into the right track right now. So see whether this game should be a good opening for them. Well, they're winning one. Fenelis is able to get a strike away there. Yeah. See whether, I mean, uh, they can hold the scoreline to the last moment and take the three points. So this should be a breakthrough for them. I mean, if they win, they win this match. Yeah, it'll be interesting. There's still a long way to go. And uh, Futuro... Uh, who are second in the league, um, have a lot to play for at the moment. Uh, so they won't be giving up anytime soon. And we know how, the, how good they are technically. Stu comes across here. In that pocket of space and has a strike. But uh, well blocked there by the number six, Su. So I mean, on the other side, there's, there's a lot of challenge for Futro as well because uh, they got a first loss. Uh, first loss last uh, last game against Datong. Yeah, certainly. It's, so uh, right now they uh, they lose first, they lost first, lost one goal. So uh, the same situation as the last time they're future facing uh, Datong. I'll see whether uh, they're under lo uh, uh, losing un position or circumstances. Can they fight back this time? So and also challenge for them. I think they got good team spirit. So you can say, I mean, before the loss uh, against Datong, the team, I mean, they hold good spirits. Yeah, I think uh, they'll be happy with their playing style in general yeah, I think as well. So. They've, uh, the way they've been playing, they look like they've been enjoying themselves. Um, of course, it's a lot easier to enjoy yourself when you're winning. Yeah, for, of course, yeah. I'm sure there's a turning point for them, like uh, suddenly they lost a the game against Datong. So, um, there's some kind of uh, mindset change, changing for, for the players. So Ooh, this game is quite... Oh, there's a top there. tackle there. Wave well. on, referee. Playing advantage, but... Uh, future is taking their time now. So it seems that we are expecting more and more sliding today. Because, yeah. I mean, the pitch condition right now... Ruiz really slippery. It's Benji. Trying to play Wu in, but uh, I was over hit. I don't think uh, Wu was ready for that one either. Yeah, I think so. It's a good idea, but just uh, not getting into the right time. So, future going long. So, you see, Benji today have to. Get back a few times to help. I think there he was just happy to play the ball forwards. Ogawa had the ball to the side. So Rui 
play here. You check it. Ooh. Just coming in late there, uh, Yao Kechi. I think there's a dangerous one. Yeah, it's uh, perhaps worthy of a yellow. Yeah, I think sure. a possible yellow card should be. See another foul there this time. It's Hong. Benchy. Yeah, I think uh, he's trying to outstrength Hong, but uh, maybe using a little too much yeah. uh, into the back there. And Hong is clever and use his body to try to protect the ball when he's f falling on the ground. So Yao got a yellow card here. Yeah, confirmation of his yellow there for that late tackle. Yeah, Hong's usually very good uh, working his way up and down the left side. Yeah. Um, good uh, in attacking and defense. So, so far, uh, he's not been able to get up, get up uh, and support the strikers or the midfield. So right now he's facing Ben Chi. I think it's a tough task for him. Yeah, Ben Chi plays another ball in there, this time to Mark. I mean, with Ben Chi there, that uh, prevents Hong to get up front, I mean, to do the uh, full back. Yeah. I think they'll know how dangerous he is. Yeah. So, Ichinagi slowly getting back up to his feet after uh, just stopping that uh, flick on by Mark. Sometimes it's easy to get injured when, I mean, uh, you jump up with somebody together. Yeah, it's easy to fall awkwardly. Yeah. It's just you can't predict, uh, I mean, the falling position. So, Yo Jia Huang playing the first corner in. Good head uh, by Mark Fenelis. Um, but the keeper, Duan Yu, in the right position, able to take that one cleanly. And he's looking to release Ju quickly, but uh, the kick was not accurate enough. And uh, Taiwan Steele again with the ball. Yeah. So you can see right now for Futro, you can see Joe. So he's uh, standing in the most up front. So Li Mao drop back a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they swap positions. Yeah. So that's the, I mean, uh, he's playing the same same kind of squad in the, in the previous matches. So Li Mao seems like to do the supporting uh, position for Joe. Yeah, I think uh, perhaps after the first 25 minutes he felt he wasn't getting any any of the ball, so he's looking to move back and yeah, uh, support so. his team more. It's Wu, want to pass the ball to Benchi. He might have been blocked off there. It's hard to tell. He's not... Uh, Benji's not happy with it, but, yeah. uh, but it's really good defending for Futro. They knew it. They knew Benji was getting in. Just got two defenders watching him, and uh, still able to get the cross in yeah. with, with the two defenders on him. But uh, with a bit of pressure, he wasn't able to get a clean one. I mean, Benji is not that easy to defend with. Because he's, uh, he's fast, he's swift, agile. So Li Mao coming down the left side now. Looking for the switch, but uh, it's again it's a loose pass. Perhaps uh, unusual for Futuro. I think uh, Taiwan Steel definitely having more of the ball in yeah. this opening half an hour. Uh, I think we're used to that being uh, the case for Futuro. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we can check it out in the halftime with the stats. We can see that uh, the, the possession time. We just expect, I mean, uh, Taiwan Steel should be, I mean, with a higher portion. Yeah, if it carries on at this, uh, in this pattern. Yeah. I think uh, Futuro are happy to sit off as well. You can see the two different styles. Futuro uh, just defending in their own half, whereas uh, Taiwan Steel have been pressing. 
Yeah. I mean, today it's Good not time. easy for, for, I mean, for Phil Trove, the midfielder, Ogawa and also Lin Jianliang uh, to hold the ball in the midfield because they're facing, I mean, uh, uh, Yao from Taiwan's team and also uh, Alim Sumakolov. I mean, these two guys really uh, put a lot of pressure on, on Phil Trove midfield and it seems uh, it works. Yeah, certainly. Uh, and uh, when they have had the ball, uh, the passing hasn't been... Uh, as we would expect, yes, it's been I a little bit so, loose. Yeah. 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 Maybe we can count from Joe, when every time he got the ball, it's a long ball. Yeah, mainly. certainly. Well, I think that might be Taiwan Steel's pack tactics here, as they play high up the pitch, yeah. uh, forcing futures to go uh, long. Yeah, I think so. So just a quick look at uh, Zumakulov. I think He's maybe well so far. like uh, like Town Steel, they get their um, learning from from Datong. You know, remember Datong? We last time did the game. I mean, uh, they put uh, I mean uh, Louis Louis Fernando. Yeah. They place him to do the defensive midfielder. Yeah, usually a centre back as well. Yeah. So in the same way, they they did it with a future today. So the, that means uh, they do more defending in the midfield increase the, the strength in defending in the midfield that harms Filtro to do the passing style it's a good ball here and a strike it's, uh, just wide the left post and uh, Duan Yu had that covered anyway strike there by uh, Yako Chi he seems doing well in the middle as well for Yao the last time she played on the wing. Lee Mao there, winning the ball. Just unable to control the pass through to Ju. Loose touch there by Fenelis. It's a Again, we see a pass. It's not come through. A strong tackle there by Zumakulov, uh, which is why he's there in the first place. Yeah. And he's done well so far. They're going for a long ball. Benchy wins the flick on. Strong challenge, but uh, fair by, by Mark, according to the referee. So, Futuro dealing with that. So, looking a little bit dangerous still. Yeah. It's not looking so assertive uh, at the back there for Futuro uh, when you've got those two, who we know are strong and quick. Yeah. Futuro just happens to have some time on the ball, I think. But, uh, yeah. As you see, there's a lot of pressure in the midfield, and Futuro just looking to get the ball away. Uh, and that's where the, the mistakes are happening. They're not getting the uh, clean passes. I mean, uh, you can see, I mean, for Futuro, I mean, the players, they're a bit anxious. Maybe right now they're losing one goal. They're trying to get back to the game. So, uh, I mean, Every every time they got a ball, just uh, doing it, I've been in a in a, in a rush. Sure. Oh, cool tackle here. Yeah, referee's blown for a foul. Uh, uh, that's Cheng Hao. Yeah, uh, he's, he's saying he got to the ball, but uh, I think the problem was he came in from behind. Yes, I think uh, so. Definitely. He may, he may well have got some of the ball there, but. Yeah. I mean, he's lucky to get rid of a yellow card. As you have a look at the replay here. I mean, Joe is really quite uh, playing smartly. I mean, first time we just see uh, Cheng Hao is coming near. So he uh, stopped a little bit and then he suddenly uh, changed his speed to rush up. 
So and standing up and moving his body across the ball. Yeah. yeah. So they forced Cheng Hao to have to do the tackle at the back. So it gives Future a chance to get the ball into the box here. Uh, Hong to deliver. We know he can put a good ball in. So it's Hong. Far post. Cleared by Taiwan Steel. And the ball comes through here to the keeper, Jiang. Not much trouble today for Jiang. Jang playing in place of the injured keeper Pan, right? Yeah. Injured uh, national keeper Pan, who would usually be in goal for Taiwan Steel. So Pan missed for, for a few games because he's uh, still in the injury problem. Oh, nice control there by Hong and Spenchi. Cross. So Mark beats the ball there in the middle. It's Kamori. Right back. So five minutes to go in the half. I think Taiwan Steel will be happy with their display so far. They've managed to control this game for the most part. A good turn there. And uh, oh, just bundled the into in the end. Got seven against seven. Yeah. I mean, Yao is playing smartly, so they didn't make a turn. Agawa just uh, leaning into the back of him. Yeah. This will be a chance for Taiwan Steel here, about uh, 25, 30 yards out. Within a shooting distance. Yeah, you can see Mark Fanelis already putting the ball down. It's uh, him and Wu, the captain, number 11, standing over the ball at the moment. If they are going for a strike, it does suit the left foot. Yeah. Very right, good chance here. So looking for equalizer. No, no. I don't know. I mean, not the equalizer, I mean the second goal. Strike here. It's, uh, relatively easy in the end for Duan Yu. So they just need a bigger curve here. You can see there, Don Yu with that, with no options, just uh, playing the ball long and Taiwan Steel getting that ball back. Yeah. Quite easily. Just a replay here. Just uh, not the power or direction yeah. perhaps, that he was looking for. So too easy for, for Don Yu. Or do you think there's anything that uh, Futuro should be changing at the moment? I, th I think uh, I feel like they're struggling to uh, get out of their half. I think the coach have to told all these players they have to come down to play. I mean, they're just playing a bit anxious right now. You can see Joe is coming back to help. Yeah, I feel like they just haven't been able to get hold of the ball yeah. in the middle here. Uh, and they're just resorting to these long balls. I mean, the, the reasons why they are getting anxious because you can see, uh, I mean, the old tactics they're doing is not uh, working efficiently. So they just try to try their best to work out, but uh, finally they just uh, fail to do so. So they become anxious. So I mean, uh, for the coach, just try some way. I mean, uh, okay, we see Alim here. Makulov just uh, trying his luck. Yeah. From uh, outside the box there. I mean, the future can look for different ways to do their attacking. No, I mean, passing is uh, a good way to develop uh, the attacking. But besides, I mean, doing the passing style, maybe you can use the fullbacks, try to open up the space. I mean, right now, they're really doing the attack, mainly uh, concentrate in the midline, right? Yeah. You can hardly see, I mean, uh, 
Okay, okay that's far there. I think it's in given offside, actually. Okay. But you, yeah. Yeah, they've not had much uh, of a chance to go forward after that uh, yeah. initial shot uh, by Ju in the second minute. So right now, you, you, I mean, Ju is standing uh, in the middle of, of the front line. So uh, the left one, the one should be playing on the left is Lin. But right now, Lin can, cannot hold the ball. So on the other side, on the right side, got Jiang, Jiang Hao Ren on number 27. But uh, seems that he seldom got the ball. So uh, that means uh, they cannot use him in the left or right side to do uh, attacking or even assisting. Yeah, looks like it's been nullified at the moment. Not too much coming down the wings. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Benchi or Mark is a threat to, for the, for Futro, but uh, I mean, it's it's a threat. But I mean, they. They don't have the tickets that big. I mean, the series for Futuro. I mean, they can. I mean, uh, to have guts uh, to to do the attacking. Okay, good chance for Joe here. Good one on one. Cuts inside, gets a strike away, but uh, straight down the keeper's throat. So, uh, not a comfortable shot here. I mean, Joe have to get through defenders. See there, uh, Benchy back. Yeah. Uh, help, help, him help out in the defense. And you can see for Futuro, they're attacking. I mean, uh, center is Joe right now to see whether uh, Li Mao or other players can help up to, I mean, to, to share the burden to do the attacking. So that means, uh, I mean, for Taiwan Steel, they have to not simply just look for Joe only. They have to check the other players to stop them from doing the attack. Yeah, I think at the moment, uh, Ju's looking a little isolated up front. Yeah. yeah so, is... I mean, it's easy for Taiwan Steel to do the defending because you just look after Ju, then that's it. They look to lob the keeper Ooh. there. <laughs> just about keeping out, Duan Yu. Yeah. So we're in the one minute of added time. Just about 20 seconds left to go. That's well taken down there. Because Chi playing it back out to the left. And uh, getting it back. Ball into Mark. Nothing given. Looked like he pushed over the defender there. Yeah. But Benchy will have one last chance to get this ball into the box. Well blocked by Hong. Cheng Hao. Ball in, but well cleared. And the ref blows for half time. Uh, so I think Taiwan Steel will be very happy with that half. Uh, at the half, uh, it's Taiwan Steel 1, Futuro 0. We'll be back after a short break.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, so at halftime, Taiwan Steel won. Uh, Taijong Futuro nil, and I think it's a deserved lead for uh, Futuro as we have a look through the uh, highlights now. Um, quite a few hard challenges going in early. Yeah. Uh, only a couple of yellow cards, but uh, perhaps could have been a couple more, Roy? Yeah, I think so. And because, I mean, the weather today is quite, I mean, it's, uh, it's wet, the pitch is wet, and then uh, the ball is slippery. And it's easy, I mean, doing the sliding, just can't stop. Yeah, but, uh, Taiwan Steel looking dangerous, uh, and they've had a lot of time on the ball, but uh, as opposed to Futuro, who've had the one shot early on after two minutes, but uh, after that, I can't really remember uh, any other chances really for, uh, for Futuro. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the pitch condition is uh, not favorable for Futuro because they're doing the passing style. They need to keep the ball well, but right now uh, the pitch is quite wet. The ball is not uh, easily controlled. So see today, uh, the midfield, can uh, do some uh, impressive assists today. Yeah, I think when the pitch is wet, uh, your passing has to be uh, perfect, and uh, it's just not been so for Futuro today. I mean, and also, I mean, for uh, Taiwan still, they make a good uh, changing in the squad. They pull up uh, Alim Sumakolov to be playing in the defensive midfield. So this helped, I mean, to stop all the passing from Futuro in the midfield. So it really works today. Yeah, I think with him in there, uh, they've controlled that midfield. Yeah. Um, so Futuro will have to think of uh, some uh, some other tactics or some other way to um, work the ball up the pitch. But, uh, again, we'll be back after another short break uh, with the stats.
So welcome back again. Um, we're just going to have a look at next week's uh, fixture on the 26th of July. Uh, in just a moment, should be coming up. It should be uh, Tai Power, who are currently top of the league, uh, against uh, Taizong Futura. Uh, four o'clock, July 26th, next Sunday. Uh, a big clash, uh, six-point game. I think at the moment, Tai Power winning 2-1 against Red Lion at halftime. Um, so if the scores stay the same, um, they'll have a lead of five points. Very interesting, and uh, we'll be back again after another short break. So welcome back to the second half between Taiwan Steel and Futuro. Uh, Futuro in left to right, uh, in, in blue and white stripes, left to right, and Taiwan Steel, we just kicked it off uh, right to left in the uh, fluorescent yellow. So uh, after the first half, Taiwan Steel leading 1-0. Um, looking the better of the two teams, to be honest, Roy. Yeah. 
So uh, Futuro, I think, uh, see whether they got any tactics to overcome the situation situation right now to come back to the game. So yeah. looking for equalizer. Yeah, I think they uh, really struggled uh, to play uh, their natural game uh, in the first half, uh, and that credit has to be given to Taiwan Steel. Yeah, um, they knew what they were coming up against. Uh, and this man on our screen now, uh, Zumakulov, uh, had a very good first half uh, dominating that midfield, stopping uh, Futuro from coming forward. I mean, uh, for Taiwan Steel, I mean, today they are the home team, but although they are not in the, playing the hometown, still they are, I mean, uh, performing like a home team, home, like playing in the hometown, playing yeah, confidently. Certainly. Uh, playing a much more controlled, yeah. uh, possessive game. Uh, like we said before, we're more accustomed to seeing Futuro play that with their, as we know how uh, how good they are technically on the ball. But, uh, so the they definitely have to deal with their midfield problem. See whether they can uh, find some ways. I mean, to uh, break the opponent's defending. Yeah, they've definitely got to uh, find a different way to work that ball forward because. Uh, Ju just uh, with uh, only one or two half chances. Yeah. Uh, in the end, swapping with uh, Lee Mao, uh, who perhaps was feeling he wasn't getting enough time on the ball. You see pulling the shirt there. By uh, the number seven, Ogawa. Really foul. That was quite clear there, as you can see, uh, just pull, pulling on the shirt. Uh, yeah. Of Yo Jia Huang. I think Taiwan Steel will be happy just uh, to try and control this game now. The ball's played in. Just about gets rid of that. So again, another dangerous ball in by Taiwan Steel. Yeah. On the right side. I mean, just wonder. Moro just uh, try to stop the ball in front of the goal. I mean, the defender of Filtro. It should be, I mean, clear the ball at once. Yeah, it did, uh, did uh, look to give half a chance. Yeah. We've got Lee Mao up here. The two in support. He has the strike himself. It's the third time he's tried uh, a shot from about 25 yards, uh, yeah. but yet to connect cleanly with one of them. So you can see that, um, I mean, like Lee Mao is quite anxious. Yeah, uh, really want to make a strike. Yeah. You can see there, there wasn't too much support either. You yeah. had Ju making a, a run, but uh, other than that, uh, not too much uh, forward movement there. Yeah, they've got sure. two players up front uh, in the Paris tackle, uh, in Paris uh, attack. So they are facing three or four defenders. Offside called. You can't believe Lee Mao that was. Coming back into the midfield, but uh, starting from an offside position. Yeah. Searching for uh, Benchy there on the right side. He's been giving Hong a, a difficult time. Futuro looking to pass the ball out. The weather has dried up. The sun was out during the halftime break, Roy. Yeah. So uh, perhaps uh, the second half might suit Futuro a little bit better. Yeah. But sometimes it's hard to tell because uh, right now we've got sunshine, we see. And uh, because the pitch is wet, and I mean, uh, the water in the pitch will evaporate gradually, and that increases the humidity of, of the pitch. Yeah, on pitch, yeah. I mean, it's usually very humid anyway. Yeah. So, so you know, when, when you are doing in the second half, I mean, uh, for, for the players, they may use up, I mean, at least 40% uh, or even 50% of their energy. So, uh, ooh. That's good strength there. Looking for Muck. And he's put it in. Ooh. I think the keeper got a hand on that. Yeah. Uh, you to keep that out, but... Uh, Tell by the expression on Mark's face, he thought he uh, 
He'd done yeah. enough to put the ball in the back of the net there. I think Duan Yu did a good job. I see Benji laying it off. Oh, he's taking it first time and uh, good save down to yeah. the right. Nice touch, yeah. So it's an important save here. Try to keep a uh, field throw alive. First corner, first corner of the half. The time of steal. Uh, Yo Jia Huang to play the ball in. He's gone to the far post. Good head back across. And uh, Duan Yu doing well to punch that ball out. It's Li Mao. Yeah, we can Long set ball. off, but uh, well covered off there by Chen Ting Yang. He just put the ball out and uh, allow Taiwan Steel to uh, get their formation back. Well, getting the ball from the offside position is Zhao. Yeah, just a uh, lack of concentration there. Yeah. Trying to take the quick throw. And Taiwan Steel uh, in the right position. Keeping their line high. They have been playing a high line. Yeah. Uh, the entire first half. It's allowed them to press Futuro in the midfield and up front uh, and at the back. And, uh, I believe that's what that's what's unsettled Futuro really. Jan going long to the left side. Good flick there by Yo Jia Hong. Mark playing the ball to Benchy, who's been uh, taken out from behind. Foul has been given. Benji trying to work his way through, scrambling through, but uh, the ball's bobbled up and uh, I think the rest given a handball there. Uh, I don't know. Mike's not, uh, Mike's not looking very happy. Yeah. So I check out, I'm ju I just check. Uh, I mean, uh, for the substitution list for Futuro, it seems that uh, on the list they got a player. They don't have the kind of player just like uh, like Marco or even uh, Benchy or they got some some players that with good physical fitness or even uh, like a powerful uh, forward or a striker type. They don't have these kind of players. So mainly that the players is just uh, more or less the same. Just yeah, that technical. they only they're technical players, so he like to do the passing style. So I mean, it's not easy for for their coach to do substitutions because um, they, they are, their playing style is not that diversified. Yeah, I think uh, the only player at the moment I'd like to see perhaps is Yamauchi come on uh, the number ten for Futuro. Yeah, uh, he does offer a lot from dead balls. Yeah. Does usually put a good cross into the box, but yeah. uh, at the moment, future have to work on getting players into the box first, uh, because uh, like we say, Ju's looking a little bit isolated there. I mean, uh, in the second half though, uh, Li Mao has been uh, carrying the ball forward yeah. a lot more positively. But, uh, still, just a little bit of a lack of support up up front, I believe. Yeah. I think Limo so is a good. Future? Yeah, I, I think Limo is. I mean, uh, he got good, good uh, physical. He's well built, so I think it's a good point uh, for him. I mean, to stay in the upfront, to do uh, some, some, somewhat like uh, Benchy or even uh, uh, Mark Fernandez do. Yeah. yeah. He can try to hold the ball. Just you mentioned, when he held the ball, he, he can even. I mean, uh, under pressure with two defenders coming in, he can still possess the ball. So um, the main problem is that uh, the support 
I mean, doing the counter attack, the support is very important for Futuro, but it seems that. Uh, oh, Drew gets his head on the ball there yeah. first. The ref has blown. So Jiang looks quite painful. That's gone in favour of the keeper. I mean, he looked fine there. Yeah. So. <laughs> he looked up at the referee for a split second. Yes. I don't know if Drew actually got his head onto this. Oh, no, 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 no. My mistake. So, uh, yeah, Jang does collect the ball before uh, being knocked into by uh, Ju there. But, uh, I think by the look that Jang gave uh, just a moment ago, he should be fine. But, uh, just a uh, first bit of... Uh, Passing uh, and good play that I've seen by Futuro, moving the ball forward relatively well, and creating a creating a half chance if Drew had managed to get on the end of that one. So we have a look at the replay here. Zhang actually coming out and does well to get to, to yeah. collect that ball first. I think if Li Mao, I mean, uh, he can keep the ball down and then uh, give a more, uh, little more time for Drew to come in, then, then I think that should, they can finish the ball, I mean, with a, a shooting. I mean, we feel a better chance. Oh, uh, no foul given there. Sumakolov looking for a forward run on the right. Yakashi playing the ball in. Looking for Fenelis, uh, Benchi, sorry. So nice defending by yeah. Ichi Nachi. Needed to, needed to deal with that because... Uh, yeah, I have to. Benchi was just behind him, ready yeah. to knock that ball and uh, get his head on the end of that ball. So it's low, it's low, the head coach of uh, Taiwan Steel Group. He's got his yellow card out here. Perhaps for uh, that takedown on uh, Mark just a moment ago. You know, at the start of the season, there are a little bit controversy on, on the leading of, of Rowe as the head coach of uh, Taiwan Steel. Uh, some say that he is a bit a bit a tr traditional. I mean, in doing the, the tactics. So, so I mean, uh, leading to what you said inconsistence of, of the performance. Yeah. Seems to be working well at the moment though. Yeah. I mean he's getting gradually back into the right track. We just had confirmation that it was uh, number seven Ogawa for Futuro who uh, received that yellow card for uh, a foul on Mark Fenelis. Through here, Ju on the left. It's uh, just out muscled there in the end by, uh, by Tun Hao. Did look uh, for a moment as if uh, it might be a dangerous position for them. Yeah. Fourteen Liu here on the ball, just taking his time. There's no pressure on him at the moment. Yeah. It does look like future of pushing a few more players into the Taiwan Steel half. Yeah. Just to stop that passing happening in the midfield. I think future should give more pressure for Taiwan Steel, even uh, when the ball heel. is not. Ball's played in. Ooh. Sorry to interrupt you there. So nice clearance by Chen Tingyang. Uh, we're going to have a substitution here, I believe. So, 88 Lin Jen Liang coming off, replaced by the number 17, Xu. Xu Hanbing. 
Uh, last time out, Shu was playing as uh, he came on as a striker. Yeah, I think so. So Wu going down there. I mean, my mistake. Ju going down there. Uh, again, the foul uh, from Chen Hao. Let's have another look here. Yeah, just getting to the ball first. Uh, winning a foul down that left side. So it's actually going to be due to uh, take the free kick. He's standing over this. Should be looking for somebody at the far post. Yeah, with some some runners across the front. I think it's uh, always very dangerous when you whip the ball across here. Uh, just any slight touch. So I think uh, they should be targeting on Chen Qingyang. Of course, uh, he's good at heading during the set piece. Chen Ting got three goals this season already. And three goals come from heading. Yeah. Chen Tingyang, the captain. Bad for a centre back. After just 10 games. So, due to play the ball in, you can see a lot of uh, shuffling going on in there. Looks it in. Keeper punches out. That's a good punch out there yeah. by Jen. Xiao. So, a chance for a counter here. Benchy on the right side. Mark just inside him. Place to the far post. Ooh. And the Ichi and Nagi. I think just doing enough. I'm not sure whether they actually got a touch on it. But uh, number, number 11 Wu was looking to get on the end of that. Yeah. So he's claiming that uh, Ichi I thought Wu we'll put the ball in. So, yeah, I think uh, they're quite clearly. You can see Ichi Nagi, last ditch tackle. Yeah. He's putting the ball out for a uh, corner. I think Chinaji is doing good. I mean, he, he always came in the right moment to stop the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just about yeah. timed that right. So he's quite experienced. I mean, uh, he came from uh, Japan. He used to play in J1 and J2. So a corner in to the back post. Slide off. So it's Ichi Yanaji again. So Ju. Ju doing well to uh, win a throw. Around about the half, uh, the halfway mark. Just have another look at the replay here. You can see, see it again. Yeah. Uh, Ichi Yanaji is coming. And, uh, he needed to get back there. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, Wu was alone on the, at the back post. I uh, would have had time even to bring the ball down, you'd have thought. Headed back. Yoda moving the ball out to the left side. So I'm going to do a one two here, stopped by Chen Hao. It looks like uh, Future are pushing uh, more players forward now in the second half. Yeah. Uh, now they're at the, just gone past the 60, 64th minute. Uh, but it will inevitably uh, leave space at the back for the counters as we've just seen. Yeah. Um, but uh, I guess it's a risk they need to take now. Yeah. So cross in, well blocked. Very good chance. Drifting across the middle there, but uh, running into trouble there in the end. And the ball plays it down the left. It's Li Mao. And again, well blocked. Should be out for a corner. 
But uh, you can see Taiwan still doing a good job of uh, staying tight to their man. Yeah. Just uh, stopping any crosses from coming in at the moment. So it'll be Jude to put the ball into the box again. First time strike there. And a shot from Ogawa. Yeah, I think it's set up for him, ready to take the strike, but uh, again, not a clean connection. Yeah. See uh, Zhang relatively untroubled so far in this match. He's had, to, he's had a couple of crosses to deal with, but he's dealt with them well. Yeah. <clears throat> Asking Mark to be careful. But, uh, <laughs> Mark saying there was nothing there, and uh, Hong didn't look too bothered either. So it's a foul there against the Lima. I think just pulling on the shirt. Yeah. Futuro just coming into this game a little bit more now. Yeah. Um, offering more threat than they had done for the whole of the first half. I think with uh, Xi Heng being getting under the bit pitch, it seems that uh, the midfield support improves a lot. Plays the ball forwards, looking for uh, Mark Fenelis. It's unable to find him in the end. So, some good play down the left here. Another cross in. So, is that an offside given there, Roy? I uh, don't know. Because in our angle, hard to see whether somebody is getting offside. Maybe the one passing the ball. So it's frustrating when someone's on the on the sideline and they can see the, yeah. the whole defence and they're still uh, unable to stay uh, in line. You can see right now, Futro. It seems that they are trying to find some space on the left, left and right side. So you can see. Um, so. Uh, uh, a few passes, he's getting from the left side. Yeah, that I mean, make a cross now. into the middle. Just looking for somebody to finish the ball. We've got Li Mao, Xu Heng Bing. And so Yuta to come up to help to get a shot. It is a good sign for Futuro. I think, I mean, uh, they're just uh, looking up for ways to do the equalizer. It's Benji. Uh, let's deal with this uh, attack first by uh, Steele. It's Wu. And, uh, Wu. I'm not sure whether he managed to stop that going out for a goal kick. We'll wait and see what the refs decided. So another substitution here. So we've got uh, Fenelis coming off, the number 10 for Taiwan Steel. He's being replaced by uh, number 13, Ko. Ko, sorry.
郭郭波维。So Marco is sorry. Marco is so. So, but I think uh, one goal is not enough for Taiwan to I mean to hold the three three points. Uh, with uh, Marco, see whether uh, they got any change on their tactics. Maybe, maybe the coach just uh, think they're confident enough to hold the scoreline to the last minute for Taiwan still. Looking for Lee Mao there, but uh, just a loose pass. And, uh, Gore there, first action. Just unable to play the ball out, ball out to uh, number 19, Yeo Jia Huang. So another substitution here. And uh, Yeo Jia Huang comes off. And number 21. Of Feng Sao Chi was on. Another foul on Benchy there. She uh, turned the defense. Future. So actually, if Taiwan steal, although they've been inconsistent this season, if they if they win this game, they move to within three points of Futura. Yeah. So it's it's uh, clear to see how quickly uh, positions can change in the league here. Yeah. And then uh, in the next week, I mean, Taiwan still they were facing NTOS again. So, I mean, it should be an easy game for uh, Taiwan Stew. Should, it should be. Should be, yeah. So, you never know. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, Taiwan Stew, they're really good at facing, I mean, teams from the bottom half. Yes. But on the other, other hand, Futuro, when they finish this game, they have to face Taipo again. So, um, so it should be hard for Filtro. And also it should be that, I mean, uh, I mean, the battle to see whether who will be the, at the top. So a very important game next, uh, in the coming fixture for Filtro. there. Decent ball should get a strike away here. Looking for equalizer no. Don't know if the call wasn't given there to Lee Mao. It's home. Oh, but it looked like Shu. Shu was going to get a strike away there. Yeah. Um, before Lee Mao came across. So Jiang make the heading. So these last few minutes, there's been a lot more uh, play in the Taiwan Steel half. There's another ball looking over the top. Almost on well to collect that. There's a cross in. So well headed out. Is Xu Hengbing make the sliding tackle? Well, he did get the ball. He played the ball out to the right side. Let's have another look here. So he plays the ball. And uh, 
I don't actually see anything wrong with that, to be honest. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, the referee may give a little warning on Alan Sumalukov, Sumakulov for after not uh, getting a ball or just uh, get a hit yeah, on the foot on the defender. Oh, oh, on on Xu Hengping. It seems not. There's no warning for Alim Sumalukov. Sumakulov. Zhao Kerchi looks like he's going off for some treatment. So in the end, it looks like a foul has been given in favour of Zumakolov. Yeah. Which, uh, I thought he actually came in uh, after uh, she, had, she had played the ball. Yeah. So it's so right now, there. down to 10 men. Ball on Taiwan still. Yao was out. So Yao really did, did a good job today. I mean, uh, he helped to. I mean, do the defending for the midfield and also, I mean, quite impressive when doing the attacking. And I see, I, see, I mean, he helped a few times for Marco and also Benchi. So still 15 minutes to go. Thereabouts. Cheng Yao just trying to gain a few extra yards there, but told to, to return. Yeah. And uh, Bench not realizing that uh, he had no one on his back. It's the ball out of play, trying to flick it on. Number to Jill. Looking for somebody to help him. Ball played in first time. But, uh, too close to the keeper. Jang collects that one. Long ball again for Futro. Looking for Jang. Back, Komori. They look to work it out to the left side. So Hong on the ball here. Oh no, sorry. It was uh, Ogawa. He just overplayed it. It's Limo. So Thomas still. Still leading just by the single goal. Uh, as we started, said at the start of the game, all the games between Taiwan Steel and Futuro have been settled um, with just uh, one goal between the two teams. Yeah. And, uh, just uh, taking a quick look across to uh, Thai Power against uh, Red Lions at the moment. Looks like Red Lions have equalised, um, so it's currently two all there. There's Benchi, he's down. And it's a foul there. Yellow card given to uh, Ichinagi. He's not happy. He thinks uh, he's won the ball and he stopped it. We can check it out in the replay. So see what happened there. So it's a very good opportunity for uh, Tai Steel. It's a nice fit here. Yeah, I think uh, he takes uh, Benchy's legs. Yeah, so he didn't. Before, before the ball. Yeah, I think so. He's claiming he's touched the ball. He has. I think it's lucky. I mean, if they do it a little bit later, then there should be a penalty. Just outside the box. Uh, okay, just... then. Then she takes it quick. Straight at the keeper. Uh, and just as I said, that red line had equalised against Thai Power. The uh, Thai Power have gone and taken the lead again. Uh, so we're leading red line 3 2. So, really a tense game there. Yeah, so that will uh, increase the gap if Futuro aren't able to get any, uh, pick up any points here. It's a good ball down the left, though. And this That's upside. Good offside, but. Uh, have another look there, it was very close. 
So right now we can see Hong is come is is coming on the on the left flank. Yeah, he's getting chances to move forward. Yeah, it's hard to see from this angle. I think just uh, move a little bit earlier before the ball is passing on. I mean, good run for Hong. As in, uh, at least finally we 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 saw him running on the flank. Yeah, he's getting a chance to move. Uh, I think future will need him. Needs him. Spencer so wins another flick on. So it's a throw in here for Filtro. Yeah, going into the last, uh, the final 10 minutes here. Uh, and Filtro really pressing for that equaliser. So for Filtro, the boys keep doing on the left side. So. Uh, yeah, I think we did speak earlier about how uh, they do work the ball well, usually down that side. Yeah. Especially with Hong down that, uh, moving up and down, and he's had more uh, freedom to move forward yeah. uh, in these last 10-15 uh, minutes. So that's a good switch there, but uh, just over the top there of uh, number 21, Fong. Tomori, long ball again to the left side. So, initially easily dealt with. Can T finish it? No. So Shu with a shot. It's uh, high and wide. Just can't keep the ball down. Still, yeah. yeah, looking to take their time now. Just looking to uh, maybe perhaps stay stay compact and uh, try and see out this one 0 lead. But just over seven minutes, just under seven minutes to go. Yeah, and I think so because they just sub uh, Marco off and then put uh, Wu Junqing up front. So they are. Trying to form a, a rather defensive uh, squad. Uh, squad. It's Wu, one on one. It's well blocked there. So Wu try to get past Chen Tingyang. And uh, some more news uh, Red Lion equalizing again against Tai Power. So a three all over there. So really a tense game there. Three three. Red Lion who'd struggled in the uh, opening six or seven games. Uh, finally picking up some points. There's a good cross in here. Tomori with a big clearance. The back post played across, uh, but into the side netting there by Yao Kirchi. It's not easy. I mean, it's a difficult to do the, I mean, a direct shot from a long pass. Yeah, it's a very tight angle as well. Yeah. But anyway, just give a shot there. And who knows? Sometimes maybe just hit it on target. Tomori. Agawa long ball to the left side. And Shanghao quite busy there. Yeah, it does well. It's Wu. 
to play bench in, but uh, Ishinagi seeing the danger and moving across. Yeah. Uh, just to cover that off. So another another substitution here. So uh, Yao Kechi coming off. Number seven replaced by number 22. Chen Weiren. Smiling at the moment, he knows his work's done for the day. Yeah, I think he did a good job today. I think this is uh, the best performance of Yao this season. He's still really doing good at a central midfield. Take a short. Header by Chan. Keeper is out, but with Tomori here. Yeah. Caught in no man's land, but Tomori ends up uh, stopping that ball. On the line. Yeah. Where he needed to be, because uh, the keeper had come out and uh, failed to collect. Well, it's lucky he can read the situation and stop the war before it comes to an, a bigger disaster there. Two here. So I'll play the ball into the box, but uh, well defended. Good and chance, chance for here for Wu. He's got a lot of space out here on the left. Looking inside. Laying it off. A decent strike. Oh, just uh, put wide there by Guo. He can't believe it. Yeah. So, uh, had a lot of goal to aim at there. Just have I a think, look at the replay yeah, there. Yeah, there should be two now. Chance to finish the game. He's uh, put it wide. It's a pity for Guo. So he haven't had a goal. Eight. He have, a, he have one goal this season already. So looking for second. He scored in the, the seventh game when they won Da Chong 3 1. Ju here walking the ball out to the left. Li Mao and Ju both on the left side at the moment. Put the ball into the box. Shinagi here on the ball. He's uh, laid it off to Komori. Well won by Li Mao there. And she has a chance to come down this right side. Good defending there. <clears throat> so just a couple of minutes left. If Futuro are going to have to, if for Futuro to get back into this game, I think uh, Taiwan Steel have done a good job though of preventing. Uh, Anything dangerous from coming around their, their keeper. Yeah. Jiang today, he's not had too much to deal with, um, as we said previously. And uh, anything that's he has had to de deal with, he's done with um, confidently. Yeah. So Lima dispossessed. And Benchi still working his way on that wing. Foul given against him though. It's Lee Mao. Nine against nine. Yeah. Working back and uh, winning the free kick. So one last chance for uh, future Roy. Yeah. Need to uh, get this ball up the pitch. So maybe three to four minutes extra time. Hard to tell. Is that offside for Ju? Yeah, I think uh, he's starting in offside position. He was coming back, but never quite uh, got back in line there. Yeah. The space was there. But, uh, yeah, as you say, four minutes. Well, stoppage time to be played. Layoff here, and chance of a decent strike, uh, but well held there by Duan Yu. Oh, 
Tomori. Good ball forward. Xu. Xu. Tries to get the cross away, but uh, Taiwan Steel clearing that one up. It's Wu looking for somebody to help. Yeah, but uh, it's just happy to hold on to the ball now, I think, just to uh, eat away at that time. Yeah. Uh, but a loose pass there. Giving the ball back to Futuro unnecessarily. And uh, just we enter the final few minutes here. Just uh, more news coming from uh, the Thai Power yeah. against Red Lions game. Uh, Red Lions actually taking the lead now, so they're leading 4-3. So, league leaders, Thai power. So, go still flying from all angles, yeah. there. Unable to defend their lead and actually uh, behind at the moment. So, Joe, really work well. I mean, work well today for Joe. I mean, he's very diligent. He's uh, finding his way. Just uh, need a, a good chance for him. Future looking to get on with this quickly. And Donyu will come up to hell again. Just like last time they are doing against Da Chong. Yes, uh, should only have one or two more chances as Komori tries to play this to the far side. So again, it's well headed out. And she does well there. Goes out to Wu. He's thought about playing the cross pass, but uh, decided perhaps better to try and hold on to the ball. Yeah. So, as we enter the last couple of minutes, probably a good idea. As there's a loose touch there by Zuma Kulov. It's true. More news, uh, Thai power of equalised, so four all there, over there. So it's football, it's yeah. wrong, so it's hard to tell. Flying in everywhere. Uh, Zuma Kulov, who's had a very good game today, has been replaced. Uh, he's holding his uh, leg a little bit there, but uh, hopefully he's all right. Replaced by number 15, Lin, for the last uh, minute or so. Not ready. Uh, not happy with the game restarting then. So, Kamori here. He's played out to that left side. Again, headed out. And uh, Wu going down there, collecting the free kick for a foul from uh, number seven, Ogawa. And uh, I think that should <laughs> be just about it. Yeah, time is up now. Stoppage time, four minutes gone. Ball's played uh, a bit aimlessly out to the left there. In the future of hurry on, they might get uh, one last chance to get this ball into the box. So, uh, four minutes are up, but uh, we did Chen. have a sub. Gets head on that. And the ref blows for full time. So uh, at the full time whistle, uh, it's Taiwan Steel 1, Future 0 0. Uh, we'll be back after another short break. Thank 
工作人员将比赛球全部收回大会帐篷，包上椅子，以及一起回来。感谢各位观众来到国立体育大学足球场。明日开始连续五天，在国体大足球场这边将进行城市对抗赛 U15 锦标赛的一个一系列的比赛。欢迎各位观众可以到场为各县市小将加油。So welcome back. Uh, so full time, Taiwan Steel winning the fixture 1-0 uh, against Futuro. Here we can have a look at the stats. Um, looking fairly even in the end, 13 shots to 13. Uh, both with three on target, uh, six corners for Taiwan Steel to uh, just the single one for Futuro. Uh, no offsides for Taiwan Steels to seven for Futuro and uh, two yellow cards apiece at the end. Um, we can't see the possession stats there. I think. Uh, for the first 60 or 70 minutes, Roy, uh, Taiwan Steel were bossing the possession. Yeah, I think so. Uh, then uh, perhaps they switched tactics. They're looking to defend that lead in the end. And Futuro, with uh, a couple of chances, uh, or half chances, to get back into the game. And you can see the offside here. Seven for Futuro. That means uh, most, of, most of the offside comes from the second half. Yeah, certainly. Another look at the uh, next game, which will be uh, next Sunday, 26th. Uh, Tie power against Futuro. Uh, due to be first versus second, top of the table clash. Uh, should be another good game. Uh, with Futuro now having lost two in a row. Yeah. Um, this is a very important fixture for them. Yeah. Not a good sign for Futuro, but still, uh, they've got uh, fixtures to go. 
I mean, too early to say who is going to be a champion, so future better work hard then. Yeah, certainly. Uh, but thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully you can join us again uh, same time next week. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll hear from you, see you again next week then. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Yeah!